Uh, let's take you back to the annual BRICS summit. The uh, summit or trade fair has been gaining momentum ahead of the official opening of the summit this afternoon. Countries have been showcasing products and services to strengthen business relations within the BRICS block. The exhibitions range from energy to infrastructure and economic transformation. That's where Heidi Jokos was a little earlier on. But in fact, now she's at the Leonardo Hotel in Santon, where she joins us live. Uh, Heidi, we missed um, a little bit of what uh, the energy minister had to say there. And of course, uh, with, our, with South Africa being, uh, you know, the, the country that's hosting, the big question will be how we sort out our energy crisis. What did he say? Unfortunately, Maseko, I cannot hear you, but I'm just going to uh, briefly explain to you what has happened in the last uh, hour or so. We do understand that ANC leadership, which includes the chair of uh, the African National Congress, uh, Gweda Mantasha, as well as the Secretary General, Vakile Balula, and a number of uh, other ANC um, uh, officials together with um, uh, the SACP as well as Kusatu uh, met with um, Brazilian President Lula da Silva to discuss a number of issues. We do understand that top of the agenda, interestingly enough, uh, was the issue of coalitions and how South Africa can navigate in terms of working with a number of political parties and how that actually works. We do know uh, that Brazil uh, went through serious difficulties, especially the president. Um, Gwede Mantashe is speaking about how, um, for example, the ANC can learn from uh, Lula da Silva, the president, and what can be taken from that. Uh, what was also discussed was um, the energy crisis and how South Africa at all can uh, possibly collaborate, if at all, with uh, Brazil in trying to get the country out of this energy crisis and this energy mess. What we do know is that, uh, you know, BRICS comes together to discuss ways of trade um, to discuss ways of uh, economic development and uh, Brazil is an interesting uh, country because we do know that they of course went through serious hyperinflation um, the question was also posed how are uh, they going to be able to get millions of South Africans out of poverty um, and Gwede Mantasha interestingly saying that communities need to work together and need to help themselves as well as much as it is also government's role and responsibility uh, to do so so it seems as though there was a lot that was discussed and put on the table in terms of how we can learn from Brazil these are of course a number of meetings that will be happening in terms of the different presidents and heads of states uh, that are uh, here in South Africa for the BRICS summit, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and of course, South Africa being the host. Um, I think what's also important here, uh, Masejo, is the fact that there was a discussion about uh, additional countries. We do know about 40 so far have shown interest in joining uh, BRICS. We do know that uh, Brazil was uh, slightly reluctant in terms of allowing allowing further um, uh, uh, um, interest from other countries to join the BRICS summit. Uh, we do know that Vicky Limbalula is saying as much as that was put on the table, it wasn't a, a discussion point. We also do know that there has been further discussion in terms of coming up with uh, a BRICS currency um, because we do know that there is that issue around uh, the dollar being the dominant uh, currency globally. So there's a lot of conversation that's being had, especially because of of global matters that are being uh, played out here. The Russia-Ukraine conflict that is affecting uh, many, many countries. It's affecting the globe. So that is also a discussion that that's definitely being had. But uh, interestingly, the focus seemed to have been on how President Lula da Silva got himself out of that um, and uh, how the ANC can possibly learn from uh, those political matters at play in Brazil. All right, Heidi Jokos live for us at the Leonardo Hotel in Santon. I was wondering, as I was watching um, that uh, press briefing, exactly in which capacity um, the, uh, the Energy Minister, Gwede Mandasha, was at that briefing in, and Heidi Jokos just answered uh, that he was there as the National Chairperson of the ANC, along with, uh, as you saw a little earlier on, some of the members of the Tripartite Alliance.